Hello, and welcome to this Bomb Portal training series presentation where we are continuing to look at in depth the features and best practices of this application. In this video, we are looking at the Bomb Portal release panel. Our objective in this presentation is to show the purpose, uses, and features of the Bomb Portal release panel. The Bomb Portal release panel, although it's the smallest of all the Bomb Portal, it is probably one of the more important ones. At first, it serves as a central location to store the release bombs, then to manage those release bombs with various release tools, including downloading, changing lifecycle states, reverting, and comparing. Before we get into the release process, there are some prerequisites that we need to confirm. First off, that your bomb is ready to be released. By looking at the issues that were brought up in your supply chain and your issues panel, you're able to make the decision whether your bomb is ready for release. The other item you must consider is your bomb templates. In Altium, in the Panels Explorer area and under Manage Content, there are bomb templates that are available. These bomb templates use the Microsoft Excel format, and they are system templates and that cannot be changed. But you can create your own template by right-clicking, say, Create Item and a bomb template and then uploading a Microsoft Excel format template. So let's look at the process of how to release a bomb. In the Eclipse up at the top right, you have the option of the release bomb. You first want then to select your template that you wish to use, whether it's one of the system templates or one that you created. Ensure that you use the release notes when you release a bomb. And then from there, it's just a matter of hitting release and it will now create your bomb and release it. You will be notified that the bomb has been released and it will be added to your release panel. As you probably can guess, the further along that your project goes, the more bombs, either for the purpose of review or to send to fabrication and assembly. To maintain your bombs, there are bomb management tools that are available. By hitting the Eclipse, you're able to first download the bomb. It will request the file location, and once it's downloaded, it will tell you that it's now successfully downloaded. The next option is to change your life cycle state. The bomb is a controlled item and has its own life cycle scheme, which can be found under your system preferences, your data management, and servers, and under properties. Here you will see the life cycles. The bomb uses a generic life cycle scheme. You can verify this by hitting your content types and seeing that your managed bomb has a selection. When change life cycle state is selected, it will first identify your current state of your bomb and then the next state it will go to. This is dictated by the life cycle scheme. If I select that the bomb has now been obsoleted, then I can choose that and it falls off my list. If I wish to see all my bombs that have been released, no matter what state they are in, I can click on show all hidden releases and all bombs are now shown. The next item that I have to manage my bombs is revert to this release. I can show the unhidden and simply by clicking that I can revert back to any bomb that I have worked with. If I choose that, it will first confirm that I wish to do this and then it will revert. The last item that I have available to manage my bomb with is to compare to. This I can compare to the previous version or to any bomb file that I wish. Once finished, this then shows me the components that have been added, removed, or modified. You have in this view both bombs and the comparison. 